Today uh, we're out with ABR Construction. Been working with ABR. Uh, they just purchased two D71 PXIs, 2.0, five shank veil rippers. ABR is a very innovative customer. Uh, they also run PC360Is with Antiquip heads. The D71s were a target for ABR due to the size. ABR came out when we did a road show, operated and ran the D71s, brought several operators and foremen and superintendents with them. About six months later, they placed an order for two D71s 2.0. The three ripper is pretty common on dozers this size, but ABR wanted to go with a five shank ripper. It's not necessarily ripping the rock out, but rather scarifying the ground. You know, when we have rain, uh, like you see out here on the side today, uh, we can actually take all five shanks, put them in the ground, and turn over the material, expose the material to more wind and more sun. Where we were delayed three days, now we're delayed one day. The ripper was set up for a D61 previously, so we got with Vell and uh, Chuck Morawski with uh, Komatsu America, and we got those engineered drawings to provide to Vell, and I think it was a two-week seamless process and we were ready to go. I think that it's going to change the way people think about rippers. So when ABR was looking at the PC360i, they were looking to make the machine as universal as possible. They are the first ones, uh, to my knowledge, in the United States to put the Antiquip head on an eye machine. And what that consisted of was essentially rewriting the algorithm to take those five points of, of recognition and turning them into the AQ5 or AQ4 XL head so we could constantly measure the head and, and the picks. Rock in this area in central Kentucky is consistently between 18 to 25, 28,000 PSI. But when you get down to the two to three foot range, the Antiquip head is so much more economical. We're not wasting fuel on digging and cleaning. We're not constantly battling slides. And so I think that that speaks to a high volume of productivity and efficiency. Also on top of that, the 360i aspect, we know when we're at grade. So we're not over digging or over hammering or over uh, excavating the material out. And what that means uh, at the bottom line is uh, it's saving on cost, it's, it's speeding up the process. And I think that's a big help to how ABR continuously stays so competitive. I cannot speak highly enough on ABR, on their constant uh, strive for success and innovation and, and constantly leading uh, the industry and advancing.